Last night, you know, I made a desperate plea for consolidation. What this market needs right now is a wave of mergers and acquisitions. It's the only thing that can offset all the new stock supply coming from this deluge of pending IPOs. In particular, I highlighted the managed care space as being ripe for more deals. The health insurance stocks have been poleaxed lately, with the most recent leg down driven by worries about the Trump administration's new plan to convince the courts to overturn Obamacare, something that could wipe out a lot of businesses for these companies. Uh, plus, I mean, I gotta tell you, it seems very unlikely to me because Chief Justice Roberts already upheld Obamacare w- once. I-, I bet he does it again. But this pullback has made many of the managed care stocks too cheap to ignore, and that's where Centene comes in. This company's a health a plan provider for government-sponsored programs like Medicare, Medicaid, and Obamacare exchanges, so they have a lot of exposure to Washington. And just this morning, we learned that Centene's doubling down on their Medicare and Medicaid business by acquiring WellCare for $15.27 billion in cash and stock, 32% premium. This deal should generate $500 million in annual cost synergies and be additive to earnings in the second year after it closes. Wall Street's response? Skepticism. Centene stock got clobbered in the news, plunging 5% today. I think you're getting a good buying opportunity here, but don't take it from me. Let's dig deeper with Michael Nidorf, the chairman and CEO of Centene, to learn more about the well care deal and what's happening in the entire managed care space. Mr. Nidorf, welcome back to Mad Money. Good to see you, sir. Nice How are you? you. Have a Always seat. Good. All you. right. So, with so much uncertainty, with people leading the news with what's going to happen and how we don't know where Medicare is going and the exchange is going, you make your, one of your biggest moves ever. How can you justify doing it when no one has a crystal ball right now? Well, there are no crystal balls. What I've always found when there's a certain amount of uncertainty, there's a challenging environment, that's the time to act. That's when it's the best opportunity. Nobody's watching. Nobody's expecting it. You take a play that makes sense. This acquisition made more sense than, I, than I've seen in a long time. Okay, well, tell me why, because I think the stocks, I'll give you my view, I think these stocks are, put my old hedge fund hat on, for sale. They're all going down. So why not wait? Well, we, we did wait. I mean, there was a time the stock was a lot higher. Okay, fair enough. Okay, so we did wait. The time was right, and some things don't come back around. Okay. And with, these are two good companies, in my opinion. You're putting them together. They're high-growth industries. They have complementary products that work well together. We've had the objective to really build our Medicare product. They have a strong Medicare product. We have a technology platform they need for their work. Geographic, it expands our footprint. We're in all 50 states in some form. We had three new states. We strengthened Michigan. Just everything, every aspect of it. Short term, I, I, I don't think about it. We, we have a lot of time and patience for our long-term investors, and we have a lot of them. Okay. So and I'm going to bet a year from now we sit down and talk, you're going to say to me, you did it at the right time. Oh, I want to ask you that because one of these analysts comes out and says, C- CNC CEO Nidor's succession plan has been a recurring question. His contract runs out until 2021. I mean, it sounds like that you did this because you're almost done. My contract runs to 2024. The board just extended it. Well, this, so he this, got it wrong. Okay. <laughs> Takes care of that, right? Okay, yeah. You know, Lying on Wall Street you know, you know, idiot, I, and, right? And, and I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to jinx anything. That. But you know, I get my annual checkups. Well, I stay strong. Help. I feel good. It's, we're having a lot of fun. The, the board asked me if I'd stay longer. They're going to have a choice of about three or four people to choose from in the next three, four years. Oh, wow, and what's okay. important is we don't want to change the culture of this company. Right. Okay, so now, uh, when I hear, if I watch Nancy Pelosi, happy happy birthday, 79, and I watch Ted Cruz this morning, and I listen, and they have such fundamentally different views about what should be done with the government and health care. What should be done with the government and health care? I think we need to, there's certain some things we can do to strengthen Obamacare, as they call I call it the ACA. Right. Make it more I mean, accessible. I mean, you use the name. By me? You use the name of it. Yeah. yeah. But I really, I really think there's a lot of things that can be done to strengthen it. I think the Democratic Party is trying to do that. People want to have a card. They want to go into yes. a doctor and say, here's what. We had 80% of the people we had last year renew this year, and that's occurred every year. We get 80% back. They like it. They're pleased with it. If they bring in more people, instead of trying to hurt it, the costs are going to come down. So there's an opportunity to make it more affordable, grow it. And we're teaching people how to use insurance. So right. as they move up the social economic ladder... They understand what it is, and you start to tear off the supplements. It's, it's ideal. Why do I hear that there's always runaway medical costs? When I look at your outcomes, they're better than almost everyone's, and I look at your costs, and they're lower than almost everyone's. Why do, not, do I not hear about Centene? You know, I don't know. You know, I'm just going to keep doing our things. That we're but doing it's it. true. Well, I appreciate you saying that. 
I believe it's true. We're using our systems, our technology to help reduce costs and get ahead of the curve. If we can, if we can see somebody's potassium is going up right. and they're at risk for a cardiac event and let their doctor know before they know about it, and you save a heart attack or some other serious problem, you've saved costs, but you've also helped the outcome. Well, will you That's integrate the Apple Watch? Have you looked at yeah. it? They know what they're doing? Yeah, sure. I, so it's I, an idea? I think it's an idea. It's, it's headed in the right direction. It's technology. It's making technology work for it. Okay, one last question. Uh, we were with Larry Merlot from CVS last yeah. week. I, I read this, and I think, judging from the Q&A at the end, he's the big loser. Now, you did say attractive opportunities for them to, to improve on the contract. So will he still have a shot? As yeah. being your pharmacy so benefit manager. We have this advanced RX, which is really the next generation, and it's more. It manages pharmaceutical costs. I want to move to net pricing. I want to get away from rebates. And I'm working hard to get there by the end of the year. But the issue with... Well, you're actually trying to add transparency to the system. Exactly. You know that that hurts a lot of people. It can, well, I, I don't believe transparency ever hurts anybody. <laughs> no, the, but I being think, a little I, facetious. I know, I know, I know. But I, but I really believe that... They're, they're going to be part of our system. They have a retail outlet. They have other things. We're going to try and work with everybody to make it more effective. Next year at this time, this deal could begin to make a lot of money. I want to know how it will do because I know that I saw President Trump say today, that yesterday, that the Republican Party is going to be the party of health care. Right. How will the party of health care work with you? Well, let's, let's wait and see what they try to do first. They have lots of ideas. Right. They have no ideas. What they have is let's eliminate it. We'll replace it. Well, they've tried that. Right. I believe that it's going to hurt them politically if they keep doing it. The last election, I believe people were worried about their health care. <laughs> they're worried about the cost and they're worried about having it. That's right. They're worried about having exactly. it. Okay, I want to thank Michael Nidorf, CEO of Centene, on coming on a very big day where they created a Medicare, Medicaid powerhouse. Man, money's back in for the break. Booyah! Jim Cramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.